Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you a couple of things. It's really just one thing, but it's more like two things in one. What this is, is a routine by Harry Lorraine called Halo Aces. And uh, I do a little thing to get into it by John Kerry called Tag Team Holdout. You can find this Tag Team Holdout in his book Crafted with Kerry. It's a great book filled with absolute gems and it's probably one of the greatest books of all time. Halo Aces by Harry Lorraine first appeared in his book Rim Shots, uh, which just like the John Kerry book, there are so many gems in that Rim Shots book. You gotta check it out. By the way, Halo is just a shortened version of Harry Lorraine. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is what this effect or routine uh, would look like uh, when presented. So you would ask the volunteer if they know how to shuffle cards. And if they do or don't, uh, just give them about half the deck. And if they don't or if they do, just demonstrate maybe an overhand shuffle like this or your favorite shuffle, whatever it may be, and a cut. So they can do that. They can just mix these around uh, however they want to and then cut some onto those, mix the, mix the rest around that they have, put them on top of there and mix them some more, put them on top of there. Now the reason why we're doing that is because I want this to be a completely random deck um, so I can try to find some good cards in a special way. And I did it face up so I can sort of uh, shuffle track them, if you will. So I think there was one uh, maybe right around here. Yeah, I think that's one, maybe another one, maybe a, a quarter down from the bottom right around there. And you did it too. You shuffled about half the deck. So why don't you, uh, why don't you just say stop somewhere as I shuffle like this. Stop right there. And I like this. Now, I did say we would try to find some good cards, and I think maybe subconsciously we knew where those were because I cut the two of them. Uh, what did I get? Oh, uh, well, I got I got two aces, but I'm a magician. Uh, you never even shuffled before, so I wonder how you did. <laughs> you also got two aces. All right, so this is another one of those uh, really easy to do, really fooling and, and you know, entertaining uh, spectator cuts to the aces routines and uh, Larry's genius thinking, or Larry's, Harry's favorite, uh, wow, <laughs> who am I today? Harry's brilliant thinking behind this is just uh, uh, fantastic and is one of my favorites. So, the four aces start on top of the deck, or you can have them on the bottom and just uh, run them singly to the top like this in an overhand shuffle face up, just as long as you don't run first cards in the process. Wow, what is wrong with me today? Now that you have your four aces on the top of the deck there, you will go into John Kerry's tag team holdout uh, procedure. So you begin by asking the person if they know how to shuffle the deck or if they would like to shuffle the deck a little bit. So you hold the deck face up and you just your hand towards them and ask them to cut about half the cards away so they take about half the cards. Now you will ask them to give the de give their packet any shuffle like this, uh, demonstrating an overhand shuffle, or what John says in the book, uh, he uses a Hindu shuffle. Anything works, just as long as you shuffle about half of the cards into your hand, okay? So after you do that, just keep a break uh, between the two halves, and this is happening as they're shuffling the cards, okay? It doesn't matter how much they shuffle these, because there's no important cards in here, uh, but meanwhile, you're holding a break, uh, below those four aces there. All right, so now you say, look, now that you shuffled the card, you always have to cut. So now you just cut out your break and put them on the table and say, uh, do that do that too, just uh, do what I did and put some cards there, about half of yours on top of there. Now you say, look, you can mix them some more uh, like this and put them on there again like this, blah, blah, blah. And so you each took turns uh, shuffling and cutting the deck onto the table. And it looks completely random and messy, but you've maintained those aces on top of the deck there. So now it's showtime for Harry Lorraine's Halo Aces procedure. Now what you will do first is pick up the deck and say so the reason why we did it face up is so we can keep track of certain cards and the good cards that we need. And you can say stuff like subconsciously we know exactly where they are. And at this point you're going to execute Harry Lorraine's Halo Cut. And what that is is basically a reverse slip cut. And so what you're going to do is swing cut about a quarter of the deck into your hand like this. But at the same time you're going to use the base of your index finger right here, that fatty part right here just above that crease, and uh, you're gonna clamp down with your thumb like this on the corner of the deck. 
and that's going to cause that top card there to come with that portion that you're cutting off like this. So it's kind of like a slip cut like this, but it's being done in reverse, right? So you're like this, just clamp that finger down, apply some pressure upwards like this, and when you cut that portion so that just goes, uh, coalesces with the, the packet there and you just turn it face down. So you'll do it again, do that halo cut again, like this. And by the way, if you have really dry fingers and if you can't really get cards to stick to your finger that well, just get a break first, right? Just get a break like this and it'll just, it'll come away with the packet if you can't do the original Halo cut. All right, so do that. Now at this point, say, look, you shuffled about half the deck. Uh, just say stop anytime, uh, just on your, what, just whenever. And what you're doing here is actually a slip shuffle. You have still two aces. I lost the other ace in there somewhere. There it is. You still have two aces on the top here. So what you're going to do is just do a slip shuffle like this, right? That just comes away as you start shuffling the deck. Overhand shuffle position like this. That just comes away. And then you ask them to say stop. So when they do, there's going to be two aces on both piles, as are those. So finish however you want to, revealing that you each located the four aces. Alright guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy, busy day to watch this video. It truly does mean the world to me. And so if you learned something new or if you got value from this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.